I want to stay here and, and, and stay in this fight as long as I'm able. But when I'm not able, uh, I want to check out. Make money. Attorney and Tennessee and political easy. icon John J. Hooker has already made legalizing the right to die his final battle. But today, he learned that battle doesn't have much time left. The lawmakers are spending the summer studying right to die legislation, but Hooker doesn't think he has that kind of time. He learned today his cancer, already terminal, has spread throughout his body. News Channel 5's Todd Walker sat down with him this afternoon. Todd, he says he's not going down without a fight. Yeah, Rory, he's fighting the disease all he can, but like he has much of his life, he plans on fighting the government so he and anyone else facing a terminal disease doesn't have to suffer through to the end. Uh, a picture up there of Ali. If you sit and talk and, uh, with John J. Hooker for uh, even a Ali. short amount of time, I was selected as one of the 10 best dressed men in the world. You will hear plenty of I stories. I said, Madam, I am not one of the 10 best dressed men in this building. Stories of the people he's met. It's not who you know in this life, it's how you know them. And the battles he's fought. Uh, at some point in my life, I figured out that I had uh, rather be a maverick challenging the government than be inside the government. But the story he's most likely to tell now is deeply personal. I have a disease known as melanoma. Uh, it has, I'm a, uh, as you sit here looking at me, I'm a melanoma tree. A cancer diagnosis earlier this year. He was given six months to a year to live, and today, this. You happened to hit me on a, on a tough day. I just found out this morning that uh, has invaded my system. And with that, Hooker has made and dying I his dying battle. I feel like that that is the ultimate liberty, the right to die. Uh, there's no worse uh, prison in the world than your own bed, racked with pain, uh, uh, no, facing death, and just lingering there, uh, suffering. Uh, for the inevitable. Earlier this week, the longtime lawyer, politician, and activist filed suit to sue for the right of Tennesseans facing terminal illness to die on their own terms. I believe that the Constitution of Tennessee specifically prohibits the legislature from interfering with my happiness or yours when it comes down to the right to die when you have reached the point that, we're, uh, that life is no longer worth living. With his cancer spreading, he hopes the case will be heard sooner rather than later. He doesn't want to suffer, and he doesn't want his family to either. I want to stay here and, and, and stay in this fight as long as I'm able, but when I'm not able, uh, I want to check out. He says it's a cause worth dying for. Uh, that day is coming, and I just want to be a little bit a part of that effort. Hooker says he and his attorneys working on this case have asked for an expedited hearing on the matter. Hooker says he wants to be there and still cognizant when arguments begin.